In this video, you'll learn how to set up an API gateway endpoint that writes to your Kinesis data stream. This is useful for high throughput applications looking to write data into AWS using Kinesis. Now, another really great thing about using this method is that we'll be using API Gateway's service proxy feature. This means that we don't need any type of middleware to write to Kinesis directly, such as a Lambda function. API Gateway is gonna handle all of that for us. So there's three main things we need to do to get this working. First, we need to create a Kinesis data stream. Second, we need to create an API gateway endpoint that can call Kinesis. And third, we need to create an IAM role that gives API gateway the permission to call Kinesis. So I'm going to walk you through all three of these steps right now. So here we are in the AWS console. The first thing that we need to do is we need to head over to the Kinesis section of the dashboard. So you can either click it here if you haven't recently visited, or you can just type in Kinesis into the search bar. And there it is. And if this is your first time here, you're going to want to go to create data stream over here and make sure that you have uh, Kinesis data streams highlighted as well. Alternatively, you can go to the three uh, horizontal lines here and then just go to the data stream section. And then this is where we can create our Kinesis data stream. Um, now we are going to be using the on-demand mode for Kinesis. This is a low cost way to use Kinesis without having to use the provision mode. Provision mode does cost quite a bit and this is great for experimentation, but this method will work just fine if you are using provision mode as well. I'm just using uh, the serverless because it's cheaper. So we're going to go to create data stream over here and this is going to launch the wizard to create our data stream. So you want to enter a name. Let's just call this uh, test stream. It doesn't really matter. And for our case, we're going to use on demand. That's fine. Uh, this just tells you a little bit about the read and the write capacity. That's fine as well. Nothing really to do here with this method. We're just going to go ahead and click on create data stream now. And it just takes a moment to set this up. We'll wait for this to complete and then we should be good to go. All right, so our data stream has been successfully created. Now we can head over into the API gateway section of the console and create our API gateway endpoint. So I'm just going to duplicate this tab because I do want to come back to Kinesis later to see the data as we write into it. You can do that by going to the data viewer. And right now we have nothing in this stream. You can see like if we get records, there's nothing on this shard uh, for this one as well. If I go through all of them, you'll see that. But when we come back to this later, we'll be able to see some data in this data stream and that'll indicate that everything is working correctly. Uh, okay, so let's go to API Gateway now. So we're going to create our API Gateway endpoint. Click on API Gateway. And we're going to go to Create API over here in the top right. Now, unfortunately, you cannot use HTTP APIs, which are kind of a lower cost alternative. You can read a little bit about them here. Um, unfortunately, the only way to do this, at least right now, is using the REST API. You can see it works with the following AWS services. So to use Service Proxy, at least in the current form as of uh, 2022, the end of 2022, you must use REST API, but this may change in the future. And if it becomes available for HTTP, I would highly suggest to use that. But for our case, we do need REST API. So let's go ahead and click on build under it here. And so this is the initial wizard. So we're going to be using REST to communicate. We're going to say new API. That's fine as well. I'm just going to call my API uh, data. It um, doesn't really matter here. You can, of course, name this whatever you want. Go ahead and click on create API in the bottom right. And this should create our initial API. All right, perfect. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a resource. So we're just going to call it the data resource. And so we're going to create the resource. We're going to call this data. And so this is going to give us the slash data path. We don't need cores. That's fine. Go ahead and click on create resource. Now, the second thing we need to do is we need to create a method under this resource. So um, this is where we're going to be calling the put record API in Kinesis. Well, API Gateway is going to be doing that for us. Uh, and I have the documentation here open for the Kinesis put record API. And so one thing to note is that this API is of type post. So we do need to use the post API. And this is just like what the input parameters look like. We'll be using this a little bit later as well. Um, so we need to select post when we're creating the method to integrate with Kinesis. So let's go back to our API here really quick. And so we're going to do an action. We're going to say create a method now while you have slash data selected. So I go to create method. We are going to set this to post. We're going to click on the checkbox and now here is the wizard so choose the integration point for your new method 
Now there's a bunch of options here. So Lambda functions, HTTP endpoints, if you want it to just be a mock, if you want it to be a VPC link, we obviously want to use the AWS service here. So we're gonna click on AWS service. It's gonna ask us for the region. I am currently in North Virginia, which is US East one. So I'm just gonna type in, yep, there it is, US East one, click on that. Uh, AWS service, I'm just gonna type in Kinesis here. And for subdomain, we can leave that blank. Now, HTTP method, this needs to match the documentation. So here it says post. So we are also going to select post. If you don't do this, this is not going to work. So make sure you line these up correctly. And under action, this is the API that you want to call for Kinesis. So this API is just gonna accept one record. Um, so someone's gonna invoke it, we're gonna take that record, API Gateway is gonna write to Kinesis. However, some of you may want to use an endpoint where you provide like three or four records or many, many records, and you wanna to write to Kinesis all at once through this single API call. In that case, you would want to use the put records API. So that's with an S at the end. And it's got a slightly different syntax as well. It takes in a list as opposed to just what we have over here, uh, which is just, um, you know, a dictionary here with three different objects. And so if you want to use put records, maybe I can just show you really quick. It's over on the side here. And if we scroll down, yeah, this is what your input will look like. So you can see it's slightly different. It's a records array and it's got kind of the same thing in the interior here. And then the stream name is on the outside. Uh, but we're not going to be doing that in this case. This is just going to be for writing singular records into Kinesis. All right, so let's uh, make sure it's put record now without an S at the end. And the next step is that we need an execution role. The execution role is an IEM role that is gonna have permission to access Kinesis. And so we haven't created that yet, so we need to go ahead and do that now. And we need to grab the ARN of the role to paste it in here. So let's go and duplicate this tab and I'm gonna go into IEM and create a new role that has this permission. So I'm gonna go to IEM and we're gonna click on IEM. That's gonna launch the console here. All right, so go to roles on the left-hand side navigation bar here, and we're gonna to go to create role. And I'm gonna do a custom trust policy because these pre-populated um, pre ones don't actually work for this use case, so I will use custom here. And I'm gonna take out what they have here and I'm just gonna drop in um, this custom policy that I've already created. So if we take a look at this really quick, what is this doing? It's saying effect allow, the principle is apigateway.amazonaws.com and the action is assume role. So effectively what this saying is, whatever permission that we put in this role, API Gateway is going to be able to assume this role so they can perform those permissions. Uh, so this is just the first step. In addition to creating the uh, assume role trust policy, we also need to create the policy that it's gonna allow us to communicate with Kinesis. Um, so we're gonna do that in the next step here, but just scroll down now and we want to click on next. And by the way, um, before I do that, I'll put a link to this in uh, GitHub in a gist or something so that you don't have to copy it out of this video. So don't worry about pausing this and trying to write it out. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna click on next now. And this is asking us for permissions. Like what permissions do we want to use here? Now we haven't created the permission policy to interact with Kinesis to use that put record API. So we're gonna need to do that first. So let's go to create policy over here on the right hand side. And that is going to launch a new tab here. Okay, so this is the editor. So follow these steps really quick with me here. So for service, we want to click on this. We want to choose Kinesis and just normal Kinesis is fine. And for actions, we want the, under the write section, uh, we want put record. If you were doing put records, you wanna write multiple at once through this API, you would do that here, but we just want the singular. Uh, so we're gonna do put record. And for resources, it's asking us to specify the stream resource ARN for the put record action. Um, you can like go and grab the ARN of the Kinesis data stream that we created and put that in here to add the ARN. But I'm just gonna be lazy and do all resources. But if this was a production scenario, as it is warning you here, you should usually use the specific setting. All right, that's good. Let's go to next now in the bottom right. It's asking us for tags, which we don't care about. We want to do review. Uh, we need to give this a name now. So let's do Kinesis, Kinesis put record policy. Okay, cool. Click on create policy now. And after a brief moment, this should be successful. Yep, so successfully created. We can close this tab now 
And now we're back in the previous tab where we, were, where we were initially creating the role. And so if you click on the refresh button now, you should be able to see the new policy. And we can just type in Kinesis here and we should have that, yeah, Kinesis put record policy. If you expand it, that's got exactly what we want. Kinesis put record on any resource. Make sure you click on this little uh, radio box here or else this is not going to apply. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom and we wanna click on next now. Now it's asking us for a role name. So let's say Kinesis put record role, I don't know, for API gateway. Very descriptive. Um, this is giving you just a summary of what we're doing here. This is all looking fine. Go ahead and click on create role now. And yes, so it was successfully created. We do need to grab the ARN for this. So I'm just gonna copy that to my clipboard, gonna search for it here, and maybe it didn't refresh. So, hmm, that's interesting. Why didn't that, let's just try Kinesis here. Maybe I typed it wrong. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna click on it here. Here is the ARN under the ARN section. Just gonna copy this to clipboard because that's what we need as input to the API gateway section. All right, so we're done with this tab now. We can close it out once you have the clipboard uh, or once you have the ARN copied to your clipboard. Go back to the API gateway section of the console. For execution role, we're gonna do, we're just gonna paste in exactly what we just grabbed and go ahead and click on save. And this should be good to go now. So we are able to test this out right now if we want by using the test functionality. I'm also gonna show you how to invoke this using Postman. So let me show you how to do it using just test here. And then we have to deploy this API, get the URL, and then we have to call it uh, using Postman or if you're using something else like, I don't know, uh, whatever um, HTTP request library that you're using. Um, but I'll show you how to do this the first way. Uh, all right, so I clicked on test, and if you scroll down here to request body, we now need to provide it the inputs, and the input is basically what we have here. This is put records. We want to see put record, and it is basically not that. Got to scroll all the way down here. So these are the required parameters. So you got to put in the stream name. Ours was test stream. You got to put in your data. This is just usually just a byte string, and then you need to put in your partition key, which helps Kinesis determine which partition or which shard to put your data onto. If you don't know about any of that, you probably want to learn more about Kinesis to understand how this works. There are some additional settings as well that you could put in here, but these are just the required ones. And the expected response here is just the sequence number and the shard ID. This tells us which shard that data is going to be located on. So let's test this out and see if it works really quick. So back to API Gateway, we're going to put this in our stream name, I think I said test stream if I'm not mistaken, and data, yeah, this doesn't matter, it's just gonna be a byte stream anyways. Uh, partition key, this is usually like some kind of UUID or some unique identifier for this particular record. You can put in like whatever you want here. I'm just gonna put in a number like number one. Uh, I'm just copying that to clipboard for later as well. And let's click on test now to see if this worked. And you can see we have some pop-up stuff here. So yeah, starting execution, we're using post, we passed in this data. That's looking good. You can see endpoint request body after transformation. That doesn't really help us. Okay, so now sending requests to kinesis.useast1.amazon.com. The action is put record, received response 200. And if you look in here, endpoint response, response body before transformation, this is what Kinesis is responding to us with. So it gave us the sequence number and it gave us the shard ID. So now if we go back into Kinesis and check out you know, shard three, because that's the one that it is located on, we should be able to use the data viewer to see if this is present. So let's go back to data viewer now and let's select shard three. And you need to change from latest to trim horizon because trim horizon is like from the beginning of time basically for this data stream. And you're gonna to wanna to click on get records. And you can see here is our record. So if you click on this, this doesn't really contain anything useful, but uh, in raw data here, just some string, but you can tell that everything is working correctly so far. All right, so that works from the kind of test perspective in API Gateway, but we wanna be able to call this from an HTTP endpoint. We're not gonna be using like this test method in real life, so let's set that up now. Uh, so in order to do that, you need to make sure that you have your post API selected still, and then go to actions, 
and we need to do uh, under API actions, deploy API. It's going to ask us for a stage that we want to deploy to. If you don't have one, you need to create one. So I'm just going to say new stage here. We're going to call this test and click on deploy. And you can see here now it gives us a URL that this endpoint is going to be hosted at. So I'm going to grab this onto my clipboard and we're going to go into Postman now and try and make a post request to this endpoint and see if that data also lands in our Kinesis data stream. So let me just pull in Postman here on screen. Okay, here we go. So uh, we are using a post method. We're just putting in that URL. Make sure that this doesn't have our endpoint that we created, right? Our endpoint um, is slash data. So we need to make sure that we have slash data at the end of our URL endpoint. And so I need to add that here. So I'm gonna say, say slash data. And we're going to go to body now. We need to set this to raw. And I'm just going to go grab that data that um, basically I had from previously to provide it as the payload. So I just pasted that in. Let me just make this a little bit more clear. Uh, yeah, so the data is just, you know, some string. Doesn't really matter what this is. This will just be a byte string if you're using this in real life. Uh, partition key, we just put some arbitrary key value here. Let's actually change this to something else, see if we get a different shard. And then the stream name, which is test stream. We should get the same response here as we did previously when we were testing it through the console. But let's try this out. And if I can figure out how to scroll down, you can see this was successful. So this also happened to land on shard number three. Let's do this a couple more times with a different partition key and see if we get a different shard. And okay, so that was on shard zero. Okay, so this is working correctly. And so let's go back to Kinesis data streams now. And we're back in the data viewer and we call get records on shard three. We should have two records here now. So we have the second one as well. And we have this first shard here, we call get records on that, and we have the data here as well. So everything is working for this API gateway endpoint. Now, one thing that you may wanna do is, as a next step is change this from such an ugly string to something more pretty. So like maybe the name of your domain or like data.api.yourdomain.com or something like that. I have a video on that, you should watch that on the right. And if you wanna learn more about AWS, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like this video. Thanks so much. and I'll. See you next time.